it's Roger Osborne here. We're just down at the beach at night. See if we can catch a few beach worms. Haven't actually heard of anyone catching worms at night before, but we're just going to have a go and see if we can catch some. This is the first time I've ever tried beach worming at night. I just figured that worms are blind and they're not bothered by sunlight, so they wouldn't be bothered by a torchlight. And normally I'd pull this worm out a bit quicker, but I was just fascinated at the fact that I caught one at night. <laughs> Come on, bite onto it, move out with it. That's actually quite a big worm, really, that one. That's what you call a, a short, stumpy worm. That would, even, that would even qualify for what the shops call a king worm. It's not a massive, stumpy worm, but it's a good size one. It's quite thick. And uh, he was holding on pretty tight when I got him with my fingers. I, I, didn't, I didn't have him very low down, so I only just had him, had him by the top of the head. So it was a little bit touch and go, but that's a nice work. In the dark. A long one. Look at that. That'd be about about two meters long. Ooh. Look at that. We've just had a great time beach worming at night. It's been awesome. So many worms. So if this was a myth, it's busted. If you'd like to learn more about beach worming, why don't you visit my website, beachworming.com.au. I've got heaps of helpful stuff that will really get you on track to catching your own beach worms.